In uniform circular motion, an object travels around a circle at a constant speed. The velocity of the object is the rate of change of position with respect to time. This velocity can be estimated by examining the change in position over a short time interval. The instantaneous velocity is then the limit of this estimate as the length of the short time interval goes to zero. Note that the direction of the velocity vector is always tangent to the circle. The acceleration of the object is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. The acceleration of the object can be estimated by looking at the change in velocity over a short interval of time. The instantaneous acceleration is then the limit of this estimate as the length of the short time interval goes to zero. Note that the direction of the acceleration vector is always towards the center of the circle. The magnitude of the acceleration can be determined by noting that over short time interval, the change in the position vector and the change in the velocity vector form similar isosceles triangles. This information then leads to a simple expression for the instantaneous acceleration and the limit as the length of the time interval goes to zero.